Hey everybody, it's Miss Goss. All right, for our warm up this week, we are going to do something super fun called freeze dance yoga. Now, some of you may remember freeze dance. Have you ever done freeze dance before? Freeze dance is when you hear the music, you're moving and you're grooving, and when you hear it stop, you put on the brakes and freeze in that position. And the music starts again and you dance and you dance and then you hear the music stop and you freeze. Freeze dance yoga is something a little different. This video is from PE with Mr. G and it will have some fun characters to dance along with and then the music will stop and you stop your body too. And then on the screen, it will show you a yoga pose. And your job is to see if you can make that pose and hold it for the whole 10 seconds. I know you can do it. And even if you're not able to hold it the whole time, just try again, try your best, and then get ready to dance again when the music begins. Are you ready? Here we go.
We're gonna take a look at why dance is so good for us. Why it's good for us physically, our bodies, and why it's good for our minds and our hearts. Okay, dance is great for us as far as our physical condition goes, keeps us healthy with our exercise, and it also keeps us healthy in the mind and the heart. It's great for us socially and emotionally. So if you take a look at these different facts, you might learn something new. Before we get into thinking about why dance is good for us, I want us to talk about what is dance? Dance is expression done through movement and is often performed in patterns with rhythm and to music. This quote here is from DK Eyewitness Books, Dance. And I think it summarizes well how dance has been used through time. People around the world use dance to express themselves, pass on their histories, and exercise their bodies. In this way, dance can be a celebration of the emotional, mental, and physical self. It can also be a preparation for battle or an unspoken protest. Dance is often used to mark major life changes or to commemorate an important event in a nation's history. In the earliest societies, dance helped humans survive. It was a way for communities to learn cooperation in working and hunting together and like today, dance was probably used to communicate and express feelings that are difficult to convey in any other way. Let's take a look at why is dance good for us? First, we'll think about why dance is good for our physical health, the health of your body. Dance is good for your muscles. Did you know your heart is a muscle too? Dance improves your balance. Can you balance on one foot? Dance increases your flexibility. Can you touch your toes? Dance improves our spatial awareness. Can you move freely around the room without running into any objects or other people? Now let's take a look at why dance is good for our social and emotional health the health of your feelings, and your relationships with other people. Dance brings people together. Make friends, celebrate with others, learn together. Dance improves self-confidence. Self-confidence means you trust yourself and your choices. Dance can make you happy. Your mood can often improve when you dance. Dance can teach us about cultures around the world. Through movement and history, we can learn about other people. These are just a few ways dance can make us feel good inside and out. All right, all right. Did you learn something new? Once you're done watching this video, please take a moment to add a response to this activity. The activity will ask you, what are two reasons why dance is so good for us? See if you can think, hmm, and remember what you just learned. Remember what you might already know from past experience and provide two reasons why dance is so good for us. If you want to add more, that's wonderful also. All right, everyone. Great job. We'll see you next time.